Welcome back to another Joy Toy review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the new Joy Toy Mecha Depot testing area. This is a packaging that it comes in. It came in a uh, shrink wrap, but I took it off, save us some time. And uh, here on top right, we have the Joy Toy logo. On the bottom, we can see that this is a 118 scale playset slash diorama. Top and bottom of the box, we have testing area. On this side, we have Mecha Depot testing area. On the back, we have 118 scale Mecha Depot testing area. We have a nice product shot with some figures and a quad. Uh, the quad's not available as of yet. Uh, not sure if this ever going to be produced or if it's just a different brand, but it's not available. There's two product shots here. A couple paragraphs down here for you to read. We have the Product information, total information. That red paragraph is some additional additional information for you. This is a uh, there is a warning however small parts for children on the age of three. This is the product is not a toy. It's adult collectible. Recommended for ages 17 and up. If you're here with UPC, and these are made in China. You basically have a slip cover. You just want to slide your box out like so, and get access to your parts. So let's go and take a look and see what we have inside the box. So we're going to just open the top of it up. Kind of have it open the flap. On top we have this styrofoam. We have these little brackets that go under the bases. Um, keep, remember these guys. I want to show you something about these here in the video. And here we have some a. Um, Looks like we have a bracket and some railings. We have a product insert. This part shows you the all the pieces you get. There are new, new pieces in this set. The back has a very dark um, basic instructions. Um, it could get a little bit confusing building this section here because you can't see nothing. You just kind of kind of at the box and figure it out on your own it's not the best instructions but between the box and instructions you should be able to get through it pretty good here we have the table chair stairs baggy full of railings walls and the size of staircases Two red bookcases, some more pillars, and structural supports. And we have floors. This is a new floor piece. So basically, this is this is one big piece. This is half of this. So that's how they did that. And there's just a piece of uh, felt in the bottom. So they packed it really nice so we don't break it. So let's go ahead and get this thing put together. Okay, so we had an assemble this thing as it's shown on the box. And uh, as you can see here, this is what it kind of looks like. I'll take you on a uh, tour of the whole thing, but we'll start on at the bottom to look at the bottom floor first. First you get a, a longer yellow piece of rolling. And over here you get two pieces, two half pieces. So it's like cut in half, so you get two different pieces. Um, you get two red bookcases. You've seen the blue ones already in the meeting area. I bet you want to get yellow ones here eventually. Back here we have a table. Nice weathering. Over here we have a chair. Bottom of the chair, five spoke here. Lots of nice sculpt work on the chair, it looks really good. So, uh, let's see, so that's the front of the bottom. This is our very first three story playset, so it is quite large. I'm going to give you a spin here. Kind of, I want to hold some of these. Uh, Images, so you have to bear with me with the camera, guys. 
So you're picking it up and down so I can move this thing around for you. So here's the back of it. That's the bottom half. It's going up. That's what that looks like. On this side. So that looks, and let's spin this thing back around. So let's see here, so I'll take you on a tour. So here on the bottom, you can see that you have very nice yellow strips here. We'll talk about that here more in a little bit. Over here we have like a hallway type deal. There's half pieces. Here is a walkway on the top. If you walk down the walkway, gotta go up the stairs to get to this little platform here. So for from the top view, this thing is pretty tall. That's pretty good. All right, so let's talk about this thing. All right, so let's take a look at the ladder real quick since uh, bring it down. We're used to seeing these. We have uh, a red version. Now we have a gray side, silver steps. A little flexible here. I'm gonna be careful there. There's no support here. Should be a bar, but there's not. So you probably wonder how do I get up to the second level? So you get one ladder, it got three floors, so you know you could put it down here if you want. But I think it's really made for that to be up where it was. You know, to go up to the third floor. And then this is to be connected to like another set that has either another ladder or you attach it to her where you can walk from the second floor over from a different um, play set. Okay, so this is probably the first set that I probably want to have some issues with. Um, for me, I'm going to basically, it's basically going to stay the same, except I'm going to remove all the railings and put it in a different space. Like, I'm not going to have any railings here at the bottom. Because I plan on attaching another one of these beside it, built in reverse, to have the, you know, for more mechs. So, I'll be removing this, and up top, I'll be removing those. And then if you look over here, like, here, like this whole railing system here is just stupid, in my opinion. Because you got a hole here, a hole here, and I'm just going to figure out a whole new way to do that for my, you know, my final setup, so... I'll be taking those off for the temporarily and working on it. But so issue number one I have with this. If you guys seen any of my other videos, remember I told you to watch out for those little pieces in that baggie. Well what those baggies were were these pieces. Where would it go? This is the small brackets that are used for the bottom. Let's see if I could do this without breaking this thing. Those pieces go like here, here. So it basically connects all these little sections together. And the small sections like here, they get pushed in there. Well, first off, you usually get spares in every other set that I've reviewed. In this set, you get exact, I got at least exactly the same amount that I needed to put this thing together. Why is that important? Well, first off, if you break one, taking it apart, you're screwed. So, 
I was recommended for other sets. Make sure you want your configuration and how you have it. Don't take these apart because when you put them together, make these loud snapping sounds. You're going to break something trying to take this apart. I haven't pushed these rails in all the way. And, but the rolls are actually one of the easiest things to get out. I actually pushed that one in a little bit too far, but I can get it out, no problem. But I'm going to take these off, for example, which I'm going to do now. And because I'm going to show you something, I'll be right back. I'm going to get this one off. Okay, so I removed some of those rolls. If you guys remember me telling you about that, that little, um, this little piece here that I showed you where to stick it in between the sections. Because when you build these, you basically build this section and that section into this little uh, section here. Like four pieces, go back three. And I used to tell you put this between there and it holds it together. Watch what happens on this one. See that? And now that's very unstable. All things holding it together is there's a couple little brackets under this floor. So that's my first problem. And then if you notice how wobbly that is, over time, is that going to bow over and look terrible? More than likely. So, I got uh, a little uh, bonus that you're only going to find here on my channel. I got a little bonuses, a little fixes. Now, if you have other sets, it's very important. Because if you have one of these extra pieces from your other sets, you can use it for this set. I'm going to do my best to show you what I'm trying to talk about um, here. So how this thing is separating. That's bad. That can break. Up under here, you have a hole here. And then you have a hole on this platform. So if you take one of these pieces... And so it's a pain, believe it or not. So you got to pull this together and line it up evenly. And you can put that up inside there like that. That'll hold that together for you. That's not in instructions. That's only exclusive here for my channel. So that's a fix for that. And uh, I highly recommend you doing that. Or looking for some other method for yourself. Because that's going to, if you want to move these around, that's going to break. I guarantee it. And the other thing is when you build this section and you attach the top piece of that, be very careful because you you got a lot of, you know, pushing down on that. If you push at an angle, I bet you're going to snap those little tabs off. So as a precaution, very careful when you attach this top piece to the bottom. It is very difficult. It'll snap really loud, scare you, think you broke it, but you didn't. But just don't angle it. Make sure it goes in straight because um, you can snap pieces like crazy. Um, and for me, you might have noticed on the box, this is my preference here, these pillars are faced differently, like they're faced with the uh, interior going on the inside. Well, I put mine like this because I like the overall look of that. It's a bit of all aesthetic for me. But normally they're they're tying around with the flat pieces on the, on the outside, like here too. Kind of, it should look like this, but I like this. But here, if you decide to do it like this, you can't turn this one um, like this because the way these bottom pieces here are made, they're beveled out. So you have to turn these to one out. But it looks okay because it kind of looks like a corner right there. So I'm cool with that. But if you notice that, that's why that's like that. That's my own preference. There's no right or wrong way. You can do it however you want. So my main thing for this was I wanted to get these for my mech. I have the Yonite Sphere mech. So my first other problem I have with this set is this. So in my opinion, the mech should go here. If you look, because they have these kind of bracket things up here to make sense. You know, your mech should stand right there, okay? So I pick the camera back up, don't put it down. So I think these should have been over here. There's really no way to get these over to the edge because they're on the inside. Uh, they're, uh, I think they're like water decals. 
but they're on the inside there and there's no way to get that to fit. But here is my fear mag. And that's how he, the bottom half, let's take a look at his feet first. Let's see how much room he takes up. And see how this yellow strip, I think it's, I think his feet should have been like in the center of that. I can't even do it. I can't move him in the center here because of his cockpit on his back and it hits that yellow bracket that sticks out. So he has, so he basically should fit in between those two yellow brackets there, which I'm going to show you here in a bit. Um, so, so you can, you now you have your table, you know, I don't, they have it in there like this. I kind of don't like that. I kind of, I'd rather have it for me, kind of like this. And then you have your, uh, you know, they want you to put your uh, bookcases there in the back like that. That's how that looks. And then I removed some of the uh, railings because I don't like them as of just yet. So you have your stairs. Okay, so let me go ahead and give you an overall look and see, show you what that looks like. The best that I can. See how those yellow brackets kind of go around the, the mech? And for me, it's going to be like a uh, up top here. See, my plan is maybe I'm going to utilize the yellow ones up top. And then I'm going to have another section come up. It's going to sit here for my other mech. And then maybe I could actually put a bookcase up here and don't put no rolling in the front. This thing fall off, of course. It's not plugged in, that's why. But you know, have this up here like this. For me and that'll be it then i'll have my team come up and i can do maintenance on the mech up top and then i'll have another section here with my other mech so i can uh, um have the ability to work on the other mech also from the top and then we have the side and everything but the mech takes up a lot of space it takes up a lot of real estate So yeah, so uh, it's definitely probably the one I have the most problem with some of the stuff. I honestly think it should have went another section out over here. Even if they give you half pieces, they put on this side to give you just another little bit. That way you can add, you know, as many of these beaters as you want, depending on how much you have. But overall, that's pretty much the... Uh, it um like I said I uh really wish that this yellow was over under his feet under his feet and uh I'm thinking about buying some chains to hang from these yellow pieces on the top. I think that look really cool. I would head I have some other stuff I wanna add. You I'll show you guys later on like a different video. But I picked up stuff like this a while back. Twenty eighteen scale toolboxes. I have, uh, you know, but I'm going to put that back there like that. I have, you know, 18 scale welders and air tanks and some other stuff like from this set here that I'm going to utilize for my maintenance. For my bay, have the welders up here and tanks and stuff that I'm going to utilize for this once I get it all together. But that's going to look really, really good. Um, I don't really know any other way to fix the flooring piece. This is definitely a, that I was really, I thought I'm going to have to use like some kind of like fishing wire and tie it out together so you can't see the, you know, the clear wire, but then I discovered just a little slot to put this. And I'm so glad that that did because that's really going to make it more, you know, secure. So, uh, 
if you just have this set, you're probably not going to have a bonus black piece unless you have a bonus set somewhere. So, that's, like I said, that's just here on my channel. You're not going to see it anywhere else unless someone copies it. Overall, it's a pretty cool set. I like it. Um, you just have to tweak it the way you the way you like it. Um, just make sure you have any configuration that you want before you put it together permanently because they're going to break up. Uh, it's a good quality material, but it's uh, it's made to assemble once and not to take apart again. The rolling you can get away with. Maybe just steps off the ladder, but some of these other pieces, man, they really snap on. And if you have any of these, you probably know what I'm talking about. I think this set here is cost about I don't want to say we're trying for I can't remember what we paid for it. I think this goes for around 45 to 50 dollars. This is uh, what this set goes for. Um, these are available now, you can get these. From China, um, I think a lot of the U.S. online retailers are still a little uh, behind on installing pre-orders. But this is the number four. This is the fourth set they come out with. There's actually a fifth, and a, it has something like a computer room. And then there's a new one coming out. It's a Med Bay, Medical Bay. I did a uh, to a news on that one. You'll be able to check that out. So. Um, they'll continue to make them so you, you can continue to expand your uh, Mecca Depot, they're calling it, whatever you want to call it. Uh, people are just, uh, a lot of collectors are just building them in many different uh, ways. You don't have to build them to the box or modular. You can build them however you want. Um, just the key thing to remember is not to make sure you're, you're 100% going to keep it that way because if you try to take it apart, you might get lucky, but I think I heard a lot of people breaking their parts, so have to be careful. Um, but all I got for this set, I do recommend it. Um, I do think that or this throwing this one and the next one, especially, just kind of throwing parts together because for me, for example, like over here. It's kind of a waste of space. You got all these poles in the way. Not really much you can do there besides a walkway, maybe. Maybe put a bookcase in there or something. I don't know. But you know, if you didn't have this here, you have more of a play area. But uh and then I think the other one utilizes this a lot, and then they have a ladder that just totally gets in the way. But uh we'll be taking a look at that here on this channel. So if you want to subscribe, that way you don't miss that review also. Please consider subscribing. Um, please like and share the video if you would like. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Hope you enjoyed the little exclusive tips I gave you. Especially with the uh, assembly and that little black connector piece. In that very, very back corner there. So, uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in our next review.